Hello, Danger Family. Well, this is part three in my tutorial videos. I did how to apply powder adhesive the other day. And then earlier I did one on how to apply the cream adhesive. And uh, so now I'm going to take these babies out so I can go to bed. So, I've got my salt, because this is my trick. I'm going to show you my trick on how to get the cream adhesive out. This also works for the powder. See, sea bonds usually just come out like whatever it helps. Whatever you got in your mouth, this is going to help. So, i got my plastic cup. i got my table salt. You can use um, sea salt if you want, but table salt. I got my mouthwash. I got my little effigent tablets that I'm going to put in my denture cups to soak my dentures in when I'm done. Now, I'm going to show you how I get the adhesive out. And then, once I get my dentures out, I'm going to put them in the cups. And then I'm going to sign off because you don't need to see me brush my gums. I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. Um, but I will tell you that um, I start out with salt water. That's step one. And I get the water as warm as I can handle it. So just, you know, stick your finger in there. If it's way too hot on your finger, it's definitely going to be hot on your gums. I'm sorry, my nose itches every time I make a video. So... I will, um, I start with warm water, as warm as I can stand it, with the salt water. Um, I'm still doing salt water rinses on my gums for when I get sore spots, <clears throat> but um, salt water really helps loosen those tensions in warm water because if you hold liquid in your mouth, if you don't know this already, um, your dentures will densely come out. You know, um, now there may be some adhesives that they don't go with a poly grip. If I hold liquid, especially warm liquids in my mouth, just hold it in there and they'll come out. Also, if I eat chocolate, they usually slide out. But this is my tip for when I use the cream, because when I use the cream, I usually, it's harder to get out. Um, but, um, so I learned to use warm salt water and mouthwash. Mouthwash will help take your dentures out and I use it as a combination and then I use mouthwash after I clean my mouth but um, that's why before you put your dentures in if you use mouthwash like I do make sure that you rinse your mouth with um, water for a few minutes because it won't the glue won't adhere at least mine doesn't and I know I was watching a video of another shout out to Bill Weslin I was watching one of his videos early on in earlier on in his journey where he was saying that um that um, he had um an issue and the issue was that he would rinse his mouth with a mouthwash and then so that's what he figured out was kind of uh i guess conflicting with the glue if that's the right word or counteracting with the glue so it wasn't sticking and i found that to be true myself so um one particular day I discovered this, um, I don't know if there's any other videos out there, I'm still trying to watch other people's videos and I'm still trying to go back to Bill's and Cha Cha's and Sweet Lady B and Kathy Phillips and a few others and watch the beginning of their journeys and stuff like that. Um, but um, I just discovered this one night, you know, I couldn't get the glue out. And, I was just like, man, I can't get this out, I can't get this out. And then I thought, well, I'm gonna try using the salt water. And then if I have a particularly stubborn spot, I'll use the mouthwash. So first I'm gonna take my cup and put as much salt as you want. I like to put a generous amount and everything in there. And this salt shaker is cool, it just kind of pours off. And then my water on. Okay. 
I wear my dentures between 8 to 12 hours just because um, sometimes I fall asleep in the chair and then I got to get up and kind of take them out um, but like I said my husband and I are night all so we usually go to bed between 3 and 5 in the morning and I am currently recording this about 5 o'clock in the morning um, I'm usually in bed by 3 but anyway, so, um, but I'm not going to get up to like noon or one, so, anyway, so, this is, and what I was going to say is that mine usually, by the time I'm ready to take them out, especially if I have powder, like, it'll come right out, like, within the first few rinses, but just be patient, like, you know, if you try this with the salt water a couple times and it doesn't work, just do it again, and my trick is I put my head down a little bit, and let it get in the roof of my mouth and I'll show you and explain to you what I'm doing because um, once it gets loose enough if it if if the gum if the <clears throat> sorry the glue has not dissolved enough by the time I go to take them out to the point that um, they just kind of slide out after a couple rinses then I have to go in there and I have to kind of put my thumb on the back of my front teeth and kind of gently pull it down a little bit and then I'll lean over and rinse with um, some more warm salt water and just hold it in my mouth and then I usually can just it'll just come right out but if not you just rock it gently back and forth don't force it but if you if it comes loose but it's not coming all the way out if you will hold this in your mouth and you can also add a little mouthwash to the warm salt water if you want but what I do is I start out with the salt water and if that doesn't do it, then I'll put a little mouthwash in there. And you'll see the residue in the sink with your um, mouthwash. You'll see the like chunks of like glue that turn whatever color your mouthwash is. Mine's blue. And um, you'll see it, you know. And um, then I take a Q-tip. I got Q-tips here. Um, if there's a chunk or something that's just not coming out. And dip it in the warm salt water like that. And I get all that because I don't like to use my toothbrush. You know, that new how it's all gummy, and then the toothbrush gets gummy, you have to keep washing it, gets all slimy all on your hands and everything. So, this is an easier way. This literally gets for me 99% of the glue out of my mouth before I even start brushing my gums. So, I hope it works for you. So, let's get started.
don't know if you saw that. Um, but that one, it just slid right out. Normally I have to rock it, but it just slid right out. Now I've got a Z-Bond on the top. That little patch that was in there earlier that I did. Oops, my camera's beautiful. So, um, I gotta get that out. So, I'll take that q tip and Because you don't want to use your nails. I made that mistake already. So you don't want to use your nails. Another thing I keep in here is I keep paper towels because I know there's something out there called denture wipes, but um, I haven't bought any yet. But I just like when I get glue on my teeth, or if I get a little too much glue, I'll just wet in a little bit of warm water and I'll just wipe out my roof of my mouth and just the little spots that when I get an excess of glue, and then um, when I get in here. What I'll usually do before I start brushing is I'll either wet it and wipe it out. Or you can use these soft baby washcloths. They're really soft. You can use those too. So. Hard on my back to bend because I can't bend very far with my spine because I have no elbow on guys, so it's hard for me to, you know, bend over the seat. So that's the walker house, but I make a mess, that's why I keep a towel in front of me. has it just stuck in there. pieces tonight. I'm going to have to stick my finger in this to see. Man, that sucker was in there. It's just a patch like that I showed you guys earlier. It was in my denture. Now see, I used the warm water. I'm gonna put a little more salt water. 
if it doesn't take me this long, but I'm just, you know, taking my time to show you guys. Um, usually it comes right out, you know. You put cold water in there and those chunks of glue just stay in there. So then I take this and I swipe. Because this helps, sorry, keeps your um your toothbrush from getting all nasty, you know. And you know you have to rinse it, and put it back in your mouth, and rinse it, and rinse it. This is just an easy way with warm salt water and the Q-tips, or you can use a wet paper towel or a wet baby washcloth, you know, or denture wipes and everything. Um, I haven't tried the denture wipes yet, but I pretty much do my own with the paper towels and this. And this really helps just get those out, so then that way, by the time you go and brush your gums, they're not disgusting. So. When I first started using adhesive, um, the, um, you know, it really wasn't that hard. I was using Walmart brand, so it really didn't, like, here like the polygrip and stuff like that does so it was easier to get out but um lately the polygrip like i've noticed i have chunks a bit you know every now and then. but like i said you rinse with the warm salt water and those chunks come loose you'll stick your finger in there and your nails and stuff like that because i've i've made that mistake and like scratched the roof of my mouth so i don't do that anymore so i'm just swiping is what i'm doing Swiping all around my gums and under my tongue and just getting all that out. So when I brush, it's gonna go on the top. Okay. I think I got all the chunks out. Now I'll rinse one more time with my salt water. for the sound effects. And if you still have like bad stuff on the roof of your mouth, you can take a paper towel. But what I'm gonna do now, I just finish off this, hold on. Before I brush my gums, I am going to, hold on, sorry, grab a little mouthwash, what I'm going to do, hold on, sorry, just back, I just grab a little mouthwash and put it in my cup, I use a little mouthwash before I brush my gums. And then I'll use mouthwash after I brush my gums. Just a little bit. Okay. And I just rinse my dentures off with hot water. Um, I fill up my cup with hot water. Yes, I use hot water. If I have not rinsed my dentures, I just, I think you are not supposed to put them in boiling water, you know. Okay. And then I take okay. and I take my dentures and I just rinse them underneath warm water and just rinse them with my um hands until I get all the gummy stuff off. It usually comes right off with warm water. And then I throw a tablet in my um 
cup here or either I'll use my stain away just a cap from each one and put them in there and I let them soak overnight and then the next morning when I get up I brush my gums rinse my mouth with mouthwash and then I take my dentures out wash all the slime off from soaking in the effigent um, and then I'll brush them and then rinse them and then put them, glue them and put them in my mouth so I'm going to do this To make sure I don't, I don't have to do this normally, but just to make sure, I'm gonna wet my paper towel a little bit. No water, and I'm gonna give it a good wipe on the roof of my mouth. Do not use toilet paper. I made that mistake too. So I was too lazy to walk in the kitchen. Okay, so that's all done. I will throw this stuff in the trash. Okay, and now I am ready to brush my gums, rinse my dentures off, and I'm done. Um, you know, it'll take a little bit longer because I'm explaining it to you guys, but normally 10 to 10, 15 minutes tops. To get my glue out and number one. okay i hope that was helpful and um since it's five in the morning and i really need to get to bed um i'll be posting uh the video i did which was technically yesterday um because i'm ending my day right now um and uh i'll post that video that i did earlier and then this video and I'll talk to you guys in a few days. Um, my husband and my 25th wedding anniversary is coming up on the 6th of this month. He has to work, so his days off this week. We have no doctor's appointments and no tests. So we're going to be celebrating 25 years of just a blast, beautiful love story that we've created. And just spend some time together. And, um, yeah, and then next week I'll go to the um, neurologist and get two tests done. And then my primary care after that, and my husband to the cardiologist. And then we should be done. And sometime between them, we're going to decorate the house for Christmas. And put up the Christmas tree. We usually just decorate inside. But anyway, so I will talk to you guys soon. And I will update you on those tests. So, stay strong. Do not give up. You're not alone. And I love you. Peace out. Good night.